Shalom. I want to start out by giving all praises to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son through the name of the Holy Spirit. Let's call Haloyim, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rukah, Kodash. Peace and blessings unto the nation of Israel. Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rukah, Kodash. Rakatham, tell you sincere listeners, may tune into this. This is Brother Nisazaka coming back at you with another listen through the Spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rukah, Kodash. And I want to entitle this listen, Why are Blacks, Latinos, and Native Indians in such a bad position? Or why are our people suffering you know some on those lines you know because uh it's a it's, it's a, a heavy question that's asked by a lot of times it's asked by you know uh those who are not, who are not of the faith um uh, you know or who are inquiring inquiring of the faith you know they want to know like okay well if god is the god of israel if he's the god of the blacks he's a black god he's a latino and native indian god then why are these people in such a horrible position why did he allow them to go through slavery why are we at the bottom why are we not at the top why are we in a position that we are we cursed you know and these different things like that you know this you know it's a it's, it's a heavy prevalent question and you know topic that's touched on you know and our people are, and i'm gonna just go through different reasons why you know us as a nation we suffer so much you know why you know we're in the position that we in why we at the bottom of the toilet pole why we're the poor of the earth why we're you know, uh, the use and abuse are we the down, downtrodden as a nation. I'm just going to go into some different reasons about it. And Lord willing to be edifying, you know, to uh, anyone who may, you know, wonder why our people are suffering in, um, in, in uh, such a bad fashion. And, you know, why, you know, we've been going, through, why we've had a history of, of carnage and uh, pain and, and, and damage. You know, I'm just going to uh, go into some different reasons. So Lord willing, it's edifying. This Psalms 107 and 17 says, Fools, because of their transgression and because of their iniquities, are afflicted. Yeah, that's why, you know, uh, we are as afflicted as a nation because of transgression and iniquities, man. What's transgression? Tra let's get, let's, oh, gosh. It's like your Lord willing no car don't come through, man. Well, as soon as you try to, it's like, yeah. Okay, uh, transgression. Transgression, it'll be Pasha, which is uh, rebellion. Uh, tr uh, in general, as recognized by a sinner, um, basically rebellion, rebellion, sin, or trespass. You know, so that's what uh, transgression, tra transgression is. You know, pretty much sin, trespass, or um, you know. Uh, uh, what is it? Sin, trespass, Slovakia. It's sin. Um, and rebellion. Yeah, sin, transgression, or rebellion. That's um, a, a trespass or rebellion. That that would be uh, what a uh, transgression is. You know, so rebellion against Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. You know, uh, a lot of times this is why our people are afflicted. You know, what well, this is how our you know people are afflicted because. We can be likened unto fools as people because while well, we don't adhere to the counsel of Yahweh by Shemel Shah, we transgress against him, which is, you know, that's 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 a foolish thing, you know. Uh, so it says fools because of their transgression and because of their iniquities are afflicted, which iniquities and transgressions are pretty much one and the same. You know, it's just a accumulated, accumulated transgression, which <laughs> iniquity is. Which our people is all about, you know, accumulating sin and, and trespasses against you. How about you, Masha? Like our people don't know how to stop and when to stop, you know. It says, their soul a poor, it's like, yeah. It, is. it says, their soul a poor of all manner of meat and they draw near unto the gates of death. <laughs> Then they cry unto the Lord, Yahweh Shemashah, in their trouble, and he saved them out of their distresses. He sent his word and healed them and delivered them from their destruction. So the word of Yahweh Shemashah was going to heal us from, you know, all the affliction that, you know, we are faced with as a nation. You know, but when we don't uh, take heed unto the word of Yahweh Shemashah, we can't be healed. You know, so that's why we continue suffering, you know. Uh, you know, us, us uh, drawing nigh into the gates of death, you know, um, you can't, you can't uh, wait to seek the Heavenly Father within your affliction. You have to seek the Heavenly Father before your affliction, you know what I'm saying? So we can't wait. And that's another problem with our people, you know, we make tarrying to turn unto the Lord versus, you know, putting down everything that we doing and desire, you know, for the Lord. And that's, 
you know, how we end up drawing nearer to the gates of death. And by the time you draw nigh to the gates of death, you how about Shema Shah is not finna uh, deliver you, man. You know, you're not finna just call on him in affliction and then just think he just finna just come and save you, man. You know, and that's that's a big problem with our people. You know, we uh we 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 do that. Matter of fact, let me get there real quick. Hosea, what's that? Hosea five. Hosea five fifteen. It says, I will go and return unto my place till they acknowledge their offense and seek my face in their affliction. They will seek me early. You know, so that's what uh, Israel is known for. Wait until affliction to seek Yahweh by Shem Yashan. This is a key reason why our people are in the position that we're in because we always wait to the last moment to turn on God. We wait till we end up in jail. We wait till we end up in a sticky, sticky situation or whatever before we want to pray to Yahweh Shem Yashan. Pray to God and ask for uh, uh, support and succor and aid, you know, and uh, and help, you know, and redemption, you know. That's that's uh, Yahweh Shema I get tired of that, man. You know, this uh, Isaiah sixty-five and two it says, and that's why he's went and returns unto his place. He's left us deserted uh, out here uh, in Babylon. You know, he's left us deserted uh, in these different uh, various countries throughout uh, uh, throughout the globe, man. Because Yahweh Shem Yahweh is uh, basically returning to his pl place because we don't want to seek him. You know what I'm saying? We don't want to seek him. You know, so he's going to, you know, put us through uh, uh, a, a multitude of afflictions, you know what I'm saying, to make us uh, remember our power and call upon him and, uh, you know what I'm saying, uh, ask for his help, you know, know that he's real, you know. This is uh, Isaiah 65 and 2. It says, I have spread out my hands all the day unto a rebellious people which walk walk of in a way that was not good after their own thoughts so this is another characteristics of our people you know this is a big characteristic of our people they love to walk after the uh counsel of their own thoughts man which you know our hearts are desperately wicked above all things who can know it you know our thoughts are not the thoughts of the heavenly father man so walking after our thoughts is, is you know is not good like it just said in in, in his verse which goodness is a fruit of the spirit you know so that makes us operate that, that makes us uh fleshly creatures when we uh when we're walking after our own thoughts you know it says a people that provoke me to anger continually to my face that sacrifice in gardens and burn burn of incense upon altars of brick yeah burn incense upon altars of brick man you know uh ultimately uh you know this you you could uh you can uh, apply this to uh those who went to uh, these different rituals you know what I'm saying when they light the candles up for uh Caesarea Borgia you know Jesus Christ you know these different deities like Virgin Virgin Mary you know and uh whatever else these other deities are you know and light up incense and candles and you know do some kind of uh sick ass ritual prayer to whatever kind of uh God that they reference as Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah man you know that's what our people are all about man you know doing all type of uh, intermeddling with all type of wisdom outside the wisdom you how about something I was shot you know uh, linking up with other gods man strange gods man you know sacrificing the strange gods doing strange acts man you know and 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 that and, and, that, and that's continually and, and that's that, that's continually like a spit in the face of the heavenly father you know that's con that's that's that we, we continually as a people provoke the heavenly father to anger by you know uh you know, servicing other gods and servicing, making our own our own bellies our gods. You know, um, it says, verse four, which remain among the graves and lodge in the monuments, which eat swine flesh and broth of abominable things in their in their vessels. Yeah, you know, fucking crab boils. You know, uh, <laughs> strump boils. You know, crawfish boils. You know, uh, catfish. You know, uh, all these different big broths of uh abominable things in their vessels you know eat swine's flesh you know uh eating blt pepperoni pizza you know uh uh pork chops you know what i'm saying these different things uh that they uh you know eat on you know in these different uh structures you know church buildings different buildings you know in uh uh places and safe safe havens for satan you know what i'm saying this type of stuff that our people is on, you know, which remain among the graves, you know what I'm saying? They're without understanding. You know, matter of fact, let's get that word graves. Let's like it. Oh, will no call come through? Graves. That's a sculpture tomb. Sculpture burying place or tomb, you know, so basically uh, a burying place which uh, uh, our bodies 
we we've been buried in Sodom and Gomorrah. Speak about that with Revelation the eleventh chapter about how our body, our dead bodies, are lying in the streets. You know, um, verse five it says, "Which say, stand by thyself, come not near to me, for I am holier than thou." These are a smoke in my nose, a fire that burneth all the day. You know what I'm saying? You can apply that to a lot of these church going people, our people love to, you know, reverence these false gods again. You know, going into these churches and praising Jesus Christ, you know, and, uh, you know, worshiping, uh, you know, these deities as if they were Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai and then acting as if, you know, uh, they goody. You know what I'm saying? Because, uh, you know, acting as if they're saved, you know, they're already uh, within prosperity, you know what I'm saying, through their false gods, you know. Yahweh Shema Shah said, this is a smoke that burning from my nose all day. So our people in the actions that our people conducting themselves in, this is like a smoke in the Heavenly Father's nose, man. You know, it pisses them off, man. You got smoke coming in your nose, you know what I'm saying? That's an irritating thing, and that's what <laughs> Israel is until Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah is a nation because of all the actions that we put forth, like, you know, eating swine's flesh, eating damn crab boils, you know, sacrificing the false gods, going in the church, jumping up and down, uh, tapping in with demons, you know what I'm saying? Going into the going to these soothsayers, these different divinators, and uh doing these different rituals and rituals and seances, you know what I'm saying? Uh these E5 people, man. You know, our people into all type of uh wickedness, man, you know. And it's like a smoke that burn up all day in the heavenly father's nose, which is, means it's pissing them off, you know. It says, Behold, it is written before me, I will not keep silence, but will recompense, even recompense into their bosom. <laughs> into their bosom. Your iniquities and the iniquities of your fathers together, said the Lord Yahweh Shemashah, which have burned incense upon the mountains and blasphemed me upon the hills. Therefore, I will measure their former work into their bosom. Thus said the Lord Yahweh Shemashah, as the new wine is found in the new cluster and one said destroy it not for a blessing is in it so will i do for my servants sake that i may not destroy them all you know what i'm saying ultimately that's going into uh uh the remnant that's going to be delivered because you how about you my shot is going to destroy a lot of our people because of the uh iniquities of them, them and their fathers you know which ultimately we are our fathers you know so you know a lot of the, the blasphemy and the different uh uh uh, wicked sacrifices that our people made. Yahweh Bashim al is going to uh, retribute, you know, a lot of our people for that. You know what I'm saying? But it's going to be a, a small remnant of our people who are going to uh, turn from those, uh, uh, turn, turn from that, uh, turn, turn from their wickedness, and they're going to be preserved from uh, the destruction that Yahweh Bashim al is going to uh, retribute in the bosom of those who have been doing these wicked acts that we just read about in Isaiah 65. Let's go to uh, Jeremiah 2. But, you know what I'm saying, a lot of our people are going to stay fucked up ultimately into destruction. Like it says in Isaiah 6, it, it said uh, when Isaiah uh, asked the Lord, how long, how long will our people be in this state of distortion, you know, in this state of, uh, you know, not having no protection or aid or support, you know what I'm saying, just being open for death. And Yahweh Shema Shah, to, he said, to the houses are wasted without inhabiting it. You know what I'm saying? So Yahweh Shema Shah is ultimately going to continue to afflict our people until the end of this age, man, which is coming very soon, man. You know, this is uh, Jeremiah chapter 2 and verse 13 it says, For my people have been committed, have committed two evils. They have forsaken me, the fountain of living waters, and have hewed them out cisterns, broken cisterns that can hold no water. You know what I'm saying? So, this is why another reason why people are in the position that they are. You know what I'm saying? Because uh, they have forsaken the fountain of living waters, man. And that living waters represents uh, uh, the life, the, the, the spirit, the. The, the word, the uh, the beauty, the the the, the joy of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. That's what that the living waters represents. It represents the wisdom, the knowledge, the understanding. You know, the love. You know, the power of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. That's what that living waters represents. And without that, you know, you don't have no protection. You don't have no aid. You don't have no support. You don't have no direction. You don't have no know how. You know, and uh, you know that's that, and that's where our people is at. I mean, we don't have no direction. You know, we don't have uh, no heritage. You won't understand our heritage, uh, our history. You know, we're not connected to our power source. You know, we're into uh, things that are completely adverse to, you know, uh, what we were made to do. You know, our people are killing each other, man. We, we are, uh, you know, we're, we're 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 covetous, man. The list goes on of all the, the 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 how how messed up our people is in 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 in, in many different facets and 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 uh. In, in categories, you know, but that's all because we have forsaken the fountain of living waters, which is Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, 
you know, uh, aka the Holy Spirit, you know, the Rakakadash, you know, the things that's gonna, uh, the disposition of angels, which is gonna lead us into uh, making, uh, doing nothing but good works, you know, it's gonna lead us into uh, being obedient unto the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bashim Yashai, instead of um, uh, being uh, obedient and taking a heed unto what Yahweh Bashim Yashai tells us to do as a people, we rather go, you know, take heed into, uh, what these other gods or what you know uh, our own thoughts tell us to do you know and that's uh and that and there's a way that seemeth right unto the man a man but the end thereof are the ways of death how about seeing outside Council is the last council that will stand. You know, you can't get no counsel outside the council. You have by some outside. You could try, but it's never going to end out good for you. And that's <laughs> that's why our things never end up good for our people because we always seeking out counsel outside the council. You have by some outside. Let's read fourteen too. It says, "Is Israel a servant? Is he a homeborn slave? Why is he spoiled? Yeah, Israel. We're not supposed to be no servant." <laughs> We're not supposed to be homeborn slaves, man. You know, but it's it's a rhetorical question. Why? What is Israel servant? Hell no, nah, we not no slave uh, 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 servants. Hell no, nah, we not no slaves. You know, we we're you know we're slaves to righteousness. We servants unto Yahweh by Shem outside. Hell no, nah, we're not spoiled. We weren't supposed to be spoiled. We do the spoiling, man. As a nation, man. You know, what I'm saying why? Because we the chief ruling nation upon the earth, man. Okay, you know we we we're we're, we're we're these nations supposed to be under tribute unto us, but. You know, we're spoiled. Why? Because uh, our people want to act as if they're servants. You know, they want to take on roles that wasn't made for them, man. You know what I'm saying? They want to be something that they wasn't. Uh, they they, they want to serve gods that they wasn't made to serve. You know, they want to serve gods that don't exist, man. You know, and that's how they become uh, spoiled, man. You know, that's how they become spoiled by, you know, want to do services unto uh, gods that's that's not the one true God, which is Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shine. That's how our people have become slaves. That's how our people have become servants, you know what I'm saying, into uh, ways that's uh, adverse into the ways that, you know, we were created to walk in, you know. Let's go to, uh, here. Let's go to this Job, chapter 15, and verse started 14 it's job chapter 15 verse 14 it says what is man that he should be clean and he which is born a woman that he should be righteous which we're all born a woman and I tell you in job the 14 chapter one chapter up from this in the first verse man that's born of a uh, woman is a few days and full of trouble man <laughs> you know what i'm saying so and we uh, are a few days and full of trouble being born of woman you know being born uh uh from the womb you know this is a uh, this is a uh, it's, it's impossible for us to be clean and uh be right righteous as a people being born from women you know it says behold he put of no trust in his saints yeah the heavens are not clean in his sight you know it says how much more abominable and filthy is man which drink of iniquity like water yeah so yeah how about she doesn't even uh put no trust in his saints you know which the saints you know they're gonna take the kingdom you know the saints gonna take and possess the kingdom you know uh, precious is, is is the death of the saints in the eyes of the Lord. You know, you have Hashem Yashah is going to retribute the blood of the saints. Tell you about that in Revelation 17 chapter, you know. Uh, tell you about that in the second Ezra, the 15th chapter. Luke, the 18th chapter, man. You know, about how you have Hashem Yashah is going to retribute the blood of uh, his saints, you know. But it's, it, it tell you he don't even put no trust within them, man. You know, and the heavens are not clean in his sight. Why? Because Yahweh Bashim Hashai is the epitome of cleanliness and uh and, and, and trustworthiness. You know what I'm saying? And it's no comparison unto that uh via man, you know. It says it, it tells you so how much more abominable and filthy is man which drink of iniquity like water, man. So if saints, if the if he don't put no trust in his saints, if he you know what I'm saying? It, it tell you in Job the fourth chapter, he charges angels with folly, man. You know, the heavens are not clean in this sight. So Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is like you can never go far enough with Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You know, and uh and even the fourth the, the the things that was created to go the furthest can still not go the furthest with Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. So how much more us as just fleshly beings here on this earth who, you know, continuously can uh commit iniquity against Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. You know, imagine how Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai looks at us as a people, man, it's just like we're completely disgusting to him, man. You know, let's go to Leviticus 24 and 14. This Leviticus 24 and 14 says, Bring forth him that have cursed without the camp, and let all that heard him lay their hands upon his head, and let all the congregation stone him, 
Tilakia, let me keep reading. And thou shalt speak unto the children of Israel, saying, Whosoever curseth his power, Yahweh Hashem Yahshua shall bear his sin. Yeah, so, you know, a lot of times our people, they curse they curse our power. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, they have a problem with uh, uh, consequences. Like, if you, there's certain type of things you're supposed to do. Uh, I mean, there's certain type of things within the law of the nation of Israel. If you do, you're supposed to be put to death for these things. You're supposed to be stoned for these things. You're supposed to be punished for these things. And it's not no punishment going forth. It's not no justice going forth. Let's tell you what, about that in what, Isaiah the 57 for 59th chapter. You know, it says, it says, and he that blasphemed the name of the Lord, Yahweh Shemashah, he should surely be put to death, and all the congregation should certainly stone him, as well the stranger as he that is born in the land, when he blasphemed the name of the Lord, Yahweh Shemashah, shall be put to death. You know, so bless, bless, blaspheming the name of the Lord, Yahweh Shemashah, like I said, you're supposed to get put to death for that, man. You know, and this this is a thing that's just prevalent in Israel. You know, our people continuously blaspheme name of Yahweh by Shem Shah, you know, and his great majesty and his great power, man. You know. And then there's no it's no it's no judgment going forth for that either. You know, it says, and he that killeth any man shall surely be put to death. Uh people killing each other and you know, ain't nobody, you know, <laughs> uh being put to death for it. You know what I'm saying? People being rewarded for, for killing others, you know. It says he that killeth a beast shall make it good, beast for beast. Yeah, so you know, you can't just kill a beast you know what I'm saying? You can't just kill an animal. You can't can't just destroy destruction. And if you, I mean, you can't destroy creation. And if you do destroy any kind of creation, you know, you got to uh, make good on that thing that you destroy. You know, and it's not, things are not being made good. It's no retribution going out, you know. It says, and if a man cause a blemish in his neighbor as he have done, so shall it be done to him. And that's another thing too, man. Like, whatever you do to somebody else, that thing's supposed to come back to you, man. It's, it, the, 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 the circle, the, the, the order, the order of uh, uh of our people has been completely uh, uh abandoned you know um the uh the, the 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 justice the equity you know the judgment uh, of our people has completely been uh been uh tarnished and you know that's that's a big reason why you know we're in the position that we in. it says breach for breach eye for eye tooth for tooth as he caused a blemish in a man so shall it be done to him again that's not happening it says, and he that killeth a beast, he shall restore it. And he that killeth a man, he shall be put to death. This is how it's supposed to go. Ye shall have one manner of law as well for the stranger as for the one of your country. I am the Lord, your power. Your, your power. You know, so these these just an example of different things that, you know, we, we're supposed to uh, have going on as a nation. I, believe, was, I, I think I might have even been reading from the wrong one. Okay, yeah, that was the wrong chapter, but Salakia, uh, that was good too, but we can read this too. That's Leviticus 26 and 14. It says, but if they will not hearken unto me and will not do all these commandments, if they shall despise my statutes, or if your soul will pour my judgment so that they will not do all my commandments, but that they break my covenant. So, and that's what's happened. We have despised the statutes, abhorred the judgments. <laughs> and not done the commandments. How about you, we just read about in Leviticus the 24th. That was the 24th chapter. That was an example of some of the statues, commandments, and judgments of Yahweh Bashim Asha that are being despised and, and not being adhered to. You know, it says, I also will do this to you, unto you. I will even appoint over you terror, consumption, and the burning agi that shall consume the eyes and cause sorrow of heart and ye shall sow your seed in vain for your enemies shall eat it you know so you know that's why our people are uh, uh have uh, t so much terror consumption and burning aggy you know and sorrow you know what i'm saying of heart you know <laughs> because of uh, despising the statues and the judgments um, and the commandments of the heavenly father it says and i will set my face against you and ye shall be slain before your enemies they that hate you shall reign over you, and ye shall flee when none pursue of you. So this this was going on with our people. And if ye will not yet for all this hearken unto me, then I will punish you seven times more for your sins. And that's what's happening because Yahweh Bashim Asha set his face. He's been set his face against us. And you know, us as a people have not and still have not turned unto our power, Yahweh Bashim Asha. And that's why we're punished, being punished seven times more for our sins to the point where, you know, our people have completely been consumed by uh, this per perverse spirit. They have become the perverse spirit. <laughs> you know, it says, And I will break the pride of your power, and I will 
make your heaven as iron and your earth as brass and your strength shall be spit in vain for your land shall not yield her increase neither shall the trees of the land yield their fruits and if ye walk contrary unto me and will not hearken unto me i will bring seven times more plagues upon you according to your sins i will also send wild beasts among you which shall rob you of your children and destroy your cattle and make you few in number and your highways shall be desolate you know so there you go right there you have a told us exactly why our people you know as he, he, he detailed exactly what's going on with our people and he told us exactly why we're going through uh these these horrible different things well it, it all comes from despising the the judgments the law and the commandments of the heavenly father you know that's this 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 where all this stems from <laughs> you know that's where all this stems from so if our people was to you know turn back into our power you know what i'm saying and uh consult with our power take counsel from our power you know, and start to uh, adhere to his counsel, his judgments, his commandments, his statutes. You know what I'm saying? Then, uh, you know, we 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 could uh begin to get out of this position that we're in. You know, uh, let's go here to Psalms. This Psalms 14 and two. It says, "The Lord Yahweh Shemasha looked down from heaven upon the children of men to see if there were any that did understand and seek Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. They are all going aside; they are all together become filthy. There is none that doeth good, no, not one. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So none of our people are doing good, man. You know, none of our people are are seeking good, man. You know, we have all together become filthy, man. You know, and that's why you know Yahweh Shemasha, uh, you know, is uh." That's the first thing, the unclean thing, man. You know what I'm saying? Because we have all become filthy, man. You know, and Yahweh Shemasha uh, ain't dealing with filthiness, man. You know, he's not dealing with uh, uncleanness, man. He's called us unto holiness, not uncleanness, man. You know, so that that uncleanness, you know, that that separates us from Yahweh Shem Yahshua. He can't accept, he can't accept this unless uh, we're pure, we're pure in chest, man. You know, and uh, we can we continue to defile ourselves and corrupt ourselves and pollute ourselves with the ways of this world, man. You know, and with the uh, and with our wicked ass actions that we continuously commit. Let's go here to Jeremiah five. It's Jeremiah five, and our people not looking for a way to. You know, they they, they want to continue in these wicked ass ways. You know, <laughs> and, and continuing in these wicked ass ways is going to continuously put you in a worse and worse position. Like I said, going to bring like like Yahweh said, I'm going to bring seven times more sins upon you. You know, this over here, this is Jeremiah five and twenty two. It says. Fear ye not me, said the Lord Yahweh Shem Yahshua. Yeah, that's the problem with our people. Our people don't fear Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah. They don't give him his reverence. You know, fear is giving reverence, respect, veneration. And our people don't have that reverence, respect, and veneration for Yahweh Shem Yahshua. If they did, you know, they'll be doing the things that Yahweh Shem Yahshua requires of us. You know, it says, Fear ye not me, said the Lord Yahweh Shem Yahshua. Will ye not tremble at my presence, which have placed the sand for the bound of the sea by a perpetual decree that it cannot pass it? And though the waves thereof toss themselves, yet can they not prevail? Though they roar, yet can they not pass over it? Yeah, so Yahweh Shemasha is basically telling you about his great power and his great majesty, man. And our people don't even accept this, man. <laughs> like, they don't even ponder upon this, man. You know, like, imagine, what, 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 why would you, why would you not listen to a power? Why would you not reverence, respect, and venerate a power whom has, who has uh, bound the sea by a perpetual decree, man? You know? Who has um and, and, and though the waves toss themselves, they cannot uh pass over it, man. Come on, man. You know. It says, but these people have a revolting and rebellious heart. Yeah, they're rebellious, that tra uh transgression. You know, our people continuously uh are, are within transgression within their thoughts, you know, within and within their way of life. You know, it says they are revolted and gone. <laughs> yeah, they are revolted and gone, man. You know, our people could that 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 revolting and that rebellion, that transgression, that transgression, and their iniquity have completely psyched our people out in our in, in their minds, man. You know, continuously transgressing, continually following their own wicked ass heart, man. That's done made our people into completely, uh, com completely psyched out in their minds to 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 where they feel as if this wickedness and this iniquity, this transgression that they're involved in, is actually okay. You know. It says, neither say they in their heart here or here. Let us now fear the Lord. Yahweh about Shemashah that give of rain, both the former and the latter in his season. He reserved unto us the appointed weeks of the harvest. So, yeah, but, you know, Israel, you know, so-called Negro, Latino, and Native Indian, man, they not even think about Yahweh about Shemashah, man. The average, you know, Negro, Latino, Native Indian, Israelite, not even think about Yahweh about Shemashah, you know. And they could be 
thinking about God, you know what I'm saying? But they thinking about God in their own regard. They're not thinking about the God of the Bible, you know? It says, your iniquities have turned away these things and your sins have withholding good things from you. You know, so our sins and our iniquities, once again, have turned away um, good things from us. It says, for among my people are found wicked men. Yeah, they are among our people have become wicked men, you know, because why? They've, they've adapted the wicked thought process and the wicked ways that we've continuously been living in after generation after generation. They actually become that, you know. It says, for upon, among my people are found wicked men. They lay wait as he that set of snares. They set a trap. They catch men. <laughs> and so this is like, this is another reason why people are so messed up. Because we got, you know, infighting within our own nation. People trapping our own people. You know, people, you know, plotting against our own people, man. You know, meanwhile, you know, we got all these other nations against us. We read about how you have a shimash. I was going to put the enemy over us. You know what I'm saying? If we was disobedient and so on. So we already got all these other nations as our enemies. And then we got enemies within our own nation. You know what I'm saying? This <laughs> trying to destroy us, man. You know, it says as a cage is full of birds, so are their houses full of deceit. Therefore they are become great and wax and rich. Yeah. So our people have pretty much sold their soul uh, traded their soul for riches, you know, traded their soul for a uh, material gain, traded their soul for filthy lucre, you know. It says they are waxing fat, they shine, yeah, they overpass the deeds of the wicked, they judge not the cause, the cause of the fatherless, yet they prosper in the right of the needy, do they not judge? Yeah, we was reading about that in the biggest 24th chapter, man. You know, there's no judgment going forth for the wicked acts that, you know, our people are committing, man. It's no, it's, it's, it's no, it's no consequences for it, you know. Actually, our people are being rewarded for the wickedness that they commit. you know. So they have overpassed the deeds of the wicked, you know what I'm saying? Why? Because they actually have, um... You know the the the, the play-by-play -play step on how not to walk in wickedness, but they still walk in wickedness. They they they, they completely rebel and revolt against it, man. You know that's stubbornness is his idolatry, man. You know so they've you know pretty much made themselves as God. You know and a lot of our people say that I am God. You know what I'm saying? I am God. You know our people act as if they could uh, save themselves. You know. It says, shall I not visit for these things, said the Lord, Yahweh shall not my soul be avenged on such a nation as this? Yeah, so Yahweh not supposed to, like, punish us, not supposed to put us in captivity, not supposed to put us under oppression under our enemies, not supposed to put us under curses after doing all this wicked-ass shit our people be doing, man. You know, it says, a wonderful and horrible thing is committed in the land that prophets prophecy falsely and the priests bear rule by their means and my people love to have it so and what will they do in the end thereof you see yeah my people love to have it so man they love for you know they, they love to hear sweet smooth things they love lies they love deception they love being deceived they love deceiving man you know uh, it, it's like you know um it's, 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 it's uh they love to worship men you know this this uh, all all these things all these transgressions and iniquities that our people are involved in this this highly pisses the heavenly father off man you what you expect him not to do nothing man hell no nah, he gonna be gonna punish our ass man why because he said you out of all the families that i know let's get that one real quick so therefore i will punish you for all your iniquities y'all but my son just ain't gonna sit by and just uh let us commit commit iniquity and not punish us for it man this uh uh, I started one. It's Amos 3 and 1. It says, Hear this word that the Lord, Yahweh Shemash, have spoken against you, O children of Israel, against the whole family which I, I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, You only have I known of all the families of the earth. Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquities. Yes, so Yahweh Shemash is only dealing with the nation of Israel, man. You know, he's that's the only nation that Yahweh Shemash knows, man. And therefore, he's going to punish the nation of Israel for all their iniquities. Yahweh Shemash is not finna just... He's not at all going to acquit the wicked, man. So the wicked XR people, you know, Yahweh Shemashah, he's going, he's going to address them. You know, he chastised those who, he, those who he loves. And we know that he set his love upon the nation of Israel. You know what I'm saying? So Yahweh Shemashah is going to bring us through chastisement. He's going to put that rod on us, man. You know, I'll tell you about that in Hebrews, the 12th chapter. Even your, if you're disobedient to your father, you know what I'm saying? Your father, he going to uh, discipline you, man. You know what I'm saying? It's the same thing with Yahweh Shemashah. He going to, if you, you're disobedient, but to the father of spirits, you think he ain't going to uh, 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 discipline you? Come on, man. This Hosea 4 and 1 says, Hear the word of the Lord, Yahweh Shemashah, ye children of Israel. For the Lord, Yahweh Shemashah, have a controversy with the inhabitants of the land. Yes, yeah, so Yahweh Shemashah has a controversy with us as a nation, which means a case at law or a quarrel. 
you know and why does he have this quarrel with us you know why does he have this beef with us why does he have this case at law with us why do we have charges on us as a nation because there is no truth nor mercy nor knowledge yahweh bashim yahweh shah in the land there it go right there because there's no truth and mercy in the land there's no knowledge of yahweh bashim yahweh shah that's why our people in the position that we in by swearing and lying and killing and stealing and committing adultery they break out they, they break out and blood such a blood you see so that's why you know uh our people in the position that we in by committing adultery by lying by swearing by killing by not you know uh adhering unto the knowledge of your how about you outside by being unmerciful by not uh having truth sincerity proof uh, uh truth sincerity purity uh innocence uh blamelessness uh justice within their their their, their nation man you know with, 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 which which is what they you know this which is their with their whole law, statutes, and commandments, uh, as a people, is centered around man. You know, <laughs> they they completely just uh, cast that to the side for their own ways, man. You know, this is the stuff that our people are involved in, which is complete, complete iniquity, man. And Yahweh Shai, he's, he he will not at all do iniquity, man. You know, let's go hear this uh, Psalm seventy four and eight. It says, "They said in their hearts, let us destroy them together." It's like, yeah. um, what's this? Okay. Okay, they said in their hearts, let us destroy them together. They have burned up all the synagogues of Yahweh Shemasha in the land. And they're speaking about our enemies. You know what I'm saying? So all our synagogues are gone. We see not our signs. There is no more any prophet, neither is there any among us that know of the um, it, it, neither is there any among us any that know of how long, yeah, because no one knows when the Lord is gonna come back. You know, and a lot of our people done got comfortable. A lot of our people done, you know, uh, like I said, have become you know, uh, the oppression, they have become the wickedness because they've been involved in it so long, you know. It says, Oh, yeah, how about you, How long should that? Oh, so like it, there we go, right there. So, yeah, so, uh, we basically, uh, we basically as a, as, as a nation have no kind of, uh, no kind of support, no kind of help, no kind of leadership. Let's go go into it right here. This is Isaiah 3 and 1. It says, For behold, the Lord, Yahweh Shemashah, the Lord of hosts, Yahweh Shemashah, doth take away from Jerusalem and from Judah the stay and the staff, the whole stay of bread and the whole stay of water, the mighty man and the man of war, the judge and the prophet and the prudent and the ancient, the captain of 50 and the honorable man and the counselor and the cunning artificer and the eloquent warrior. And I will give children to be their princes and babes to rule over them. You know what I'm saying? So, what it say and the people shall be oppressed everyone by another and everyone by his neighbor the child shall behave himself proudly against the agent and the base against the honorable you see that's what's going on right now man that's what's going on literally right now as our nation man we don't have no mighty man no men of war no judges no prophets no prudent no ancient you know what i'm saying no 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 elders the ancient is an elder no no captain of 50 no honorable men no counselors no cunning artificers no eloquent orators man you know the whole bread the whole stay of water the staff you know everything has been taken away from us as a nation man you know that's why we so messed up we don't have no kind of direction no kind of leadership no kind of structure no kind of order no kind of peace no kind of uh, hope <laughs> really man you know what i'm saying the really only thing left for us is uh Yahweh Shah Mashiach, our Lord. You know, we can be saved through his blood, walking in his spirit, you know, but uh our people reject reject him, you know, like they did when he was on the scene, you know. And that's it, man. You reject Yahweh Shah, there's, there's no more hope for you, man. You know? This last one, this uh Lamentation five and twelve says, Princes are hanged up by their hand, the faces of elders were not honored. They took the young man to grind, and the children fell under the wood. The elders have ceased from the gate, the young men from their music. That's it. Yeah, the joy of our heart is ceased, our dance is turned into mourning. Yeah, so the elders have ceased from the gate, the young men have ceased from their music, man. You know, faces are hanged up by their hands, you know. The faces of elders are not honored. I tell you in verse 11, they, the, the women are, uh, are, are, are ravished. Uh, the re the women of Zion have been ravished, man. You know the maids of Judah have been ravished, man. You know this is uh literally what's happening to us as a nation, and still happening to us as a nation right now. Why is this going on, man? You know because of disobedience unto how about you, Let me end up on this one right here. It's First Kings eight, started forty seven. 
It's First Kings 8 and 47. It says, Yet if they should bethink themselves in the land where they were carried captives and repent and make supplication unto thee in the land of them that carried them captives, saying, We have sinned and have done perversely, we have committed wickedness, and so return unto thee with all their heart and with all their soul in the land of their enemies which led them away captive, and pray unto thee toward their land which thou gavest unto their fathers, the city which thou hast chosen, and the house which I have built for my name. Then hear thou their prayer and their supplication in heaven, thy dwelling place and maintain their cause and forgive thy people that have sinned against thee and all their transgressions wherein they have transgressed against me and give them compassion before whom before them who carried them captive that they may have compassion on them it says for they be thy people in thine inheritance which brought us forth out of egypt from the midst of the furnace of iron that thine eyes may be open unto the supplication of thy servant unto the supplication of thy people israel to hearken unto them and all that they call for unto thee you see right there so it's letting you right know right there all we have to do as a nation is is turn away from our wickedness repent you know what i'm saying and turn to you how about you with all our hearts and with all our souls and begin to adhere to his law statutes, and commandments and, and, and follow up to him with everything we got and he will forgive us and give us repentance and deliver us from the captivity that we in deliver us from the person that we're in that's all we have to do is turn unto Yahweh Bashim al Shah, make prayer and supplication unto him and, and walk within his way which his way is not <laughs> is the, the heavenly father ain't asking us to do nothing that we can't do man you know he's really asking that the things that he asks us to do is for our good like I tell you in Deuteronomy the 10th chapter man so really we the, the answer is right here on what we have to do so we can stop being so messed up as a nation man you know but that's it, man. I pray through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shem. I said it's edifying. I'm going to give our praises to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah, Bashem, Rakakudash. Peace and blessings to the nation of Israel. Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shem, Rakakudash. Barakatam, tell you, listen to me. I tuned in. Shalom.